Hello, my friends, it's Dr. Josh Levitt here. I am at my office and what I wanna to talk to you about today is what I had for dinner last night, which also corresponds to what I'm gonna have for lunch today. Now, this wasn't the entire meal, but a good chunk of my meal included roasted cauliflower. Let me tell you how we put it together a little bit. First, we in, in our family, we ate two whole heads of cauliflower. We prepared two heads last night. And the way that was done was we broke it up, chopped it up into florets and mixed those florets together with some olive oil, some turmeric, some smoked paprika, and uh, some ground black cumin seeds, and a little bit of salt and pepper, and they were roasted on a big cookie sheet in our oven uh, at about 400 degrees. Uh, kind of got a crispy brown on the underside there, and it was absolutely delicious. So let's talk about cauliflower for a minute. It seems like it's coming up in the news and in, in health blogs all over the place lately. Let's talk about what cauliflower is and how it can benefit you. So cauliflower is in the plant family Brassica. It's called Brassica oleracea. That's the name of the genus and the species. And it turns out that that's the same genus and species of other very familiar plants as well, known as cruciferous vegetables. This is the cabbage family. So cauliflower is very, very similar to broccoli, to Brussels sprouts, to kale and collard greens and all of the cabbage family plants, what we've done as humans, as farmers and agricultural types, is we've hybridized, we've sort of modified our plants over time. This is different than genetic modification. This is more like selecting for characteristics, much in the same way we've done uh, with dogs, right? We've bred dogs so that we have everything from little tiny chihuahuas to huge Great Danes and everything in between um, by human selection, by selectively breeding. And we've done the same thing with plants. Plants, uh, and that's what's yielded different characteristics such as Brussels sprouts, broccoli, and cauliflower. So cauliflower is Brassica oleracea, and much like many of the other Brassica family plants, it's incredibly healthy for you in a number of different ways. So cauliflower is a rich source of sulfur-containing compounds. This is a mouthful here, but we've got sulforaphane, uh, which is one of the many sulfur-containing compounds in cauliflower, uh, glucosinolates, indole-3-carbonate, which we call I3C. All of these things are cancer fighters, immune boosters, hormonal regulators that are rich, uh, richly found in brassica family plants, including cauliflower. Uh, there's also vitamins and minerals, including a good source of vitamin C, vitamin K, uh, the mineral potassium, calcium, and a good source of fiber is also in cauliflower. So go for cauliflower. It's a great thing. I strongly suggest roasting it or lightly steaming it and consider adding turmeric, smoked paprika, a little bit of salt and pepper, um, and, and roast in, uh, in coconut and or olive oil um, for a delicious vegetable side dish. So go for cauliflower. I hope that helps you and take good care.